Hi all, Mass Barnkopf from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today we're taking a look at this Megatronic Focus Stick 161E welding inverter. Now this is a small portable unit made by the Danish company Megatronic. It is a shielded metal arc welding machine, which means that it uses these uh, rods or stick welding rods, as you might know, which has a layer of uh, flux on the outside and then you have the metal you use to deposit into your weld on the inside. So it's uh, rather basic. You have a ground and you have a plus for your stick welding and you sh just make an arc and you can weld metal together. So this is a rather small portable unit, um, most likely based on MOSFET technology. But uh, yeah, let's take it apart and see what we find. The small mechatronic unit here, I'm missing in the enclosure, missing all cables. Um, have everything been ripped off the back here, so no, mu not much to see there. The uh, mains connections, um, earth. At the front we have the uh, normal two cable connectors for welding. We have a dial 20 to 160 amps. Uh, some uh, two status LEDs, temperature warning and... Yeah, not sure what that... Vaulted something? Hmm, yeah, well, oh maybe. Oh, there's a sticker here at the bottom. Factory, Megatronic, designed in Denmark, assembled in China. Oh, we actually have a small functional diagram. F1 to F2, so frequency converter, isolation transformer and rectifi rectification diode, and then we have a DC output. So here it's a 20 amp at 20.8 volt up to 100 160 amp at 26 volt. And it's for stick welding only, 230 volt AC at 22 amps. So it's meant for a single phase high current supply. Uh, it's all mounted on a single PCB. You can see we have some uh, added solder for the high current connections. Very nice. Hmm. We can see we have a row of MOSFETs on this side and we have some bridge rectifiers up here and we have MOSFETs on the back side as well. So let's just get it torn apart and find out what is what. Let us see if we can figure out how this works. So first, hammer. Well, there's only one main unit here, so uh, not so much to go wrong with. If we start here at the input leads, the main leads, we can see we have the input filter here. Capacitor, inductor, capacitor, inductor, capacitor. We have a small relay. And then we have some yellow wires going up to the two bridge rectifiers sitting here. The black and red is now the DC bus going out. We have a 10 microfarad MKP capacitor sitting here. So that is just um, a snubber capacitor. On the DC bus running over here, we might have a shunt resistor sitting here to sense the current in the positive part of the bus. Mm, let's see what does the capacitors in here say. I well, can't really see that. But once the DC bus gets over to the other side here, this is where the inductor were mounted at inductor 1, 2. So this is most likely the PFC front end. And here we have STTH30 R06. So some 30 amp, 600 volt devices. And on the next here we have F60 UP30. So 60 amp or 600 volt 30 amp. Yeah, we'll have to look those data sheets up. But uh, a rather interesting construction really because um, as you can see up here we have three diodes sitting in parallel. We can see that here, it's just mounted in parallel. And this board actually um, just goes all the way down here and it's grounded through the heatsink. So uh, that's just a huge jumper, this one. And the other ones are sitting in parallel underneath here. The same goes for the uh, one of the main output inverters. It's uh, three devices sitting in parallel as well. So this is one leg of the uh, half bridge and the other leg is up here. 
So we actually have these three sitting in parallel from this small PCB, which connects down to the main board again from this copper part, and goes on over to the huge output inductor, or at least the yeah one part of it. Deep inside here we have the ignition or current sensing transformer, it seems, yeah. On the other side, I'm not quite sure what kind of inverter we have here, but uh, we do for sure have the whole housekeeping power supply sitting over here with this 10-pin connector. It connects up to this microcontroller, or at least inverter controller. It's a UC3846. So some kind of um, inverter controller. So well, let's look up that data sheet. Judging from the back side, we can also see we have some uh, a lot of uh, white goo on this. Again, to avoid uh, any short circuits, but we have some kind of IC sitting up here and also here underneath the PFC front end. Could suggest that the PFC front end is really just a standalone unit that just powers up and runs while it gets mains input. And again, it's hard to tell what the exact part number is because it's ruined by all this protection against dust. The PFC inductor, nothing uh, special about this. Iron core, some cover wire around it. The output terminals. Again, we have a connector from the, uh, the current dial at the front. And then these connectors, well, it's somewhat uh, cheaped out compared to the uh, older unit that I have seen. Now you see we have a lot of steel parts in the current path. It's not just brass bolts and uh, brass parts, but we have a lot of regular steel, so it has been cheaped out a bit. That's, uh, that's all there is to say about that. Now also the uh, DC uh, capacitors, we have four of those in a row in between all the heat sinks. And with this uh, yeah, wind tunnel assembly here, which simply fit down over the first heat sink, uh, it actually creates a, a, uh, yeah, a wind tunnel through everything, starting from the PFC front end to the output inverters and the output choke or matching transformer. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something about small stick welding inverters and what's inside and what parts you can actually get out of these and rebuild for your own projects. So, until next time, see ya.